Hello Bean and welcome to a new video from me. Happy to see you here again. I'm sorry for my voice. I have a cold so I sound like a booger. I think I'll be fine soon. But you know nothing can hold me back from drawing and from producing videos for you because that's just uh, the freelance illustrator life I guess. I wish that was a joke. But nonetheless I want to do an art challenge today and I don't know if I've ever done a real art challenge before. So I'm very excited for this video and I hope that you are too. The art challenge that I want to do today is the art style swap challenge. I think that you call it that. It is a challenge where you have one character and you draw it in different art styles. So I will take a character from me, an original character. It is Risa. It is this character over here because I really really love them. This is my comfort character. Whenever I do not know what to draw, I draw Risa because I just love their design so much. And I think that they are perfect for this challenge because I think I can adapt their outfit and just overall mood and vibe in different styles. So the plan is that I will draw Risa in seven different art styles and to choose which art style I will draw them in I have written down 22 different art styles and artists and put them in this bowl and I will now draw from this bowl and decide which art styles I will draw Risa in. I am very excited because there are very cool artists and art styles in it. Let's see which art styles we will have in this video today for this art style challenge. So I've drawn art style number one and it is Winx Club. <laughs> okay, this will be interesting because Risa doesn't fit in this world at all, but I think the art style could fit them. Art style number two is One Piece. Hmm. Art style number three is Disney's Atlantis. Ooh, art style number four is Adventure Time, one of the art styles that I wished for. Mm. Art style number five is actually Alphonse Mucha. This is gonna be interesting. Art style number six is the Spider-Verse. <laughs> I hope that I can do that because Spider-Verse has amazing art. And last but not least, the last art style I will draw Risa in is Futurama. So we have at first Wings Club, which is a pretty, if I can say so, girly teenage series. And I am very excited uh, how Risa would look in this universe. I think that the second art style, One Piece, fits Risa very well. I could fit them very well, so I'm very excited for this. As a third art style, we have Atlantis from Disney. And I am, oh man, I'm very uh, suspicious how how I can do that because the Disney art styles they look simple to me but I think they're so hard to pull off so let's see if I can get this right as number four we have adventure time and I think this is just a very very comfortable art style I can draw them in and I think it will look pretty funny because Risa is just a very emotionless character and adventure time is just so colorful and Risa is not so let's see if this works number five is Alphonse Mucha and I hope for one of the traditional artists I have to see if I will do this traditionally because I have no idea how Alphonse Mucha managed to draw things like this traditionally so I I have no idea so maybe I will just do it digitally so it matches with the other ones but maybe I go for the challenge and do it traditionally we will see as number six we have spider-verse and I am very afraid of that because spider-verse has just the most amazing character designs and spider-verse is just known for over-the-top drawings all of the artists just pushed their limits to get this amazing designs I, I don't know if I feel ready to to try to do the same but you know let's just try it as the last art style we have Futurama and I've just watched the first episode uh, some days ago so I'm very hyped for that. I think the art style of Futurama and also The Simpsons it uh, kind of seems very simple but it is hard to get everything that is important into this simple design so let's see if I can handle that. I think this will be quite a challenge for me to get all the art styles right but before we start one thing if you like this video idea and you want to see me drawing a character in more art styles and comment some art styles below that you want to see me draw a character in but now let's go 
If you ask me, some of the wing style characteristics are thin outlines, very questionable anatomy, revealing outfits that I never noticed when I watched this show as a kid, little hair swirls and the very rectangular shape language. The shape language was perfect for Risa because I designed her with a rectangular shape language as well, so I had no problem to adapt that to her design. But the outfit was pretty tricky because Wings Club outfits are always very shiny and very girly and I took all of this and made it goth. I added chains, completely black and dark outfit and I also added the signal color yellow from Risa. And she also got tattoos and I think none of the wings have actual tattoos. And I really love this design, I wouldn't have thought that I would like it so much. I'm very happy about that. She now reminds me a little bit of Icy, the bad witch in the series, but I think this is exactly the vibe I want Risa to give as a wings because she would definitely be on the bad side. From One Piece I only watched around three episodes, so it was hard to know the style's characteristics, but I think the characteristics are thin outlines, black outlines, the big simple anime eyes and expressions, and flat colors and flat shadows, so cell shading. I tried my best to fit Risa in the style, I thought it would be easier for me, but it was not that easy. I tried to make her look fierce and a little provocative, because I see that in a lot of One Piece characters, and I also added her rifle because the One Piece universe is the one that weapons fit in best from all of the seven that I have. I'm not quite happy with the result but one of my friends who loves One Piece said that it looks perfect. I guess I didn't make everything wrong. I love the Atlantis movie, it reminds me a lot of my favorite movie, Treasure Planet, and also the style reminds me of that, so I was very excited to do this. And also because the shape language, again, is full of triangles, so it was perfect for Risa. And I kind of tried to make a Risa version of Kida, so I simplified the outfit from Risa, so she doesn't have her regular outfit, but one that fits the Atlantis world. But still the jewelry, shapes and colors make her recognizable, so you know that it is Risa because of that. The outlines are clear and it was really fun to do them. They have a little bit of line weight to them and they are colorized and this was just great to do that because I do not work often with colorized outlines. I absolutely adore Risa in this style. Sorry for the self-praise here, but look at her. She looks so stunning and the shape language is just amazing for her character and I am simply in love with this one. Adventure Time was so much fun to do, let me tell you. This little blobby character with tattoos that I turned Risa in is so cute and I didn't expect myself to like the design so much. The thick and smooth outlines were so satisfying to draw and I, I didn't think that it would be so easy for me to do that but I think the stabilization tool makes it possible. <laughs> she looks sadly at her hand because she's wondering how to play the guitar with only three fingers. And I think the guitar gives her huge Marceline vibes, which I love, because Marceline is just like Risa a little bit. Both characters are kind of edgy. But also in this design I had to simplify the outfit again, because the Adventure Time style doesn't have very detailed outfits. So it is just like a top and pants and I gave her some heels, so that you at least can see where she's coming from. Look at her, she is so cute. Actually, I adore her in this style so much. Even though this style doesn't fit Risa as a personality, as a character at all, she is so cute in this style and I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to draw her in this style. I 
I decided to do the Mucha one traditionally and you can see my thumbnail sketch over here. I sketched it again on 450 gram watercolor paper with a kind of a texture to it. And I have to say that it wasn't easy to design Risa in a more realistic kind of way and also feminine while keeping her essence. Because Mucha's style is characterized by women in pretty dresses with beautiful clothes, vibrant colors, a heavy use of line weight, plants and other decoration stuff. And I just tried to draw Risa in a scene which comes kind of close to Alphonse Mucha. And I decided to draw her within a lot of plants because Risa is actually a plant collector in her own universe. I also added a text with an ornament that says la précision which means the precision in French because Risa is a precise type of character in my universe. This is just some background knowledge of my own universe but I wanted to bring it into this drawing. At the end I did the outlines for warmer objects with ink and pen and the other ones I did in black with fine liner and an ink brush. And I think that the final result looks very good. It is cool to see Risa in a more feminine kind of way because even though they are non-binary I often draw them in a more male context or more male outfits. So this is a very refreshing way to see my own character. To get in the mood of the sketchy look I wanted to achieve for the Spider-Verse drawing, I did some warm-up sketches. In the end I found a reference and pose that I really love and I don't want to lie to you, I heavily reference from this one picture. I chose to just redraw it as Risa because it was so difficult to find this one style for the whole Spider-Verse movies. The original drawing is from Schlerbe, Schlierby on Twitter. I just sketched the pose roughly at first and then I cleaned it up a bit with more line weight outlines. I loosely painted in the colors, a lot of red, a lot of blue and I did the shadows with a round soft brush. In the end I added the yellow details to make the colors pop. I'm not quite happy with the end result of the Spider-Verse drawing. It doesn't give off Spider-Verse the way I wanted it to. It was still very fun to do that and I think it is part of the challenge that you might not like every piece that you create. The Futurama art style is again one of the cleaner ones. It has black one-sized outlines and not too much details. Doing the outlines was very fun. The mouth area is very important to make the art style recognizable. I actually added eyebrows even though nobody in this universe has eyebrows. I again gave Risa some jewelry and chains so that you just notice that it is her. And her expression is kind of annoyed which I based on the reference from Leela because I think in this universe Risa would be a little bit like Leela. I think that Risa fits into the style very well. I'm very happy with this drawing. And again, this is a style which I didn't expect to look so good on Risa. So these were the seven art styles that I drew my OC Risa in. I think it was a very, very fun challenge. And I think it was really cool to break out of my own art style for once and try out a bunch of other people's art styles. And it was so cool to see how well Risa fits in this style or maybe this style doesn't fit her at all. The thing that I've learned is what actually is crucial to Risa's design. So what parts of her design are just very important so that you can recognize her. For example, her tattoos or the white strands in her bangs or her earrings. These are things that are very important. If you see them, you are like, oh yeah, this is Risa. I know that character. So this was a very, very cool thing that I've learned from this challenge. I will now blend in all of the character designs together so you can see them in one picture. Please let me know in the comments which style you like the most and maybe which style I recreated the best. I think my favorite drawing is the Atlantis one, actually. And if you like the video idea and want to see more of it, don't forget to write some art styles in the comments that I can draw another character in 
in one of my next videos. If you don't want to miss out any of my videos, go hit that subscribe button. If you already did, thank you very much. Thank you also for watching the video until the end. Bean, as always, I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you're interested in my videos. I hope that you are well. Now it is time to say goodbye, but I hope that we will see each other in the next video. Bye, Bean. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bean.